this is really funny. This just came out. Oh, man. Billy McFarland is out of jail. Do you guys remember the Fire Festival? Do you remember the Fire Festival? Fire Festival fraudster Billy McFarland celebrates prison release with cocktail party talks next project. See, he's I knew he'd come out of this fine. Fire Festival fraudster Billy McFarland celebrated his release from a halfway house by throwing himself a cocktail party at a Manhattan bistro, according to a report. McFarland, who was sentenced to six years in prison in 2018. Did he really serve the six years? Or is wait, no. That hasn't been six years. Sentenced to six years of prison in 2018 after pleading guilty to bilking investors at a sum 26 million following uh, the music festival fiasco was released from a Brooklyn halfway house last week for six months. He was required to wear an ankle bracelet monitoring his movements, which were limited to the halfway house, the grocery store and a gym on the night. He was freed. The 30 year old. See, he's 30. He's got his whole life ahead of him. Uh, invited friends to a party at Mary Lou, a French bistro in the East Village. Among those in attendance were two of his ex-employees from the Bahamas who worked for him in helping him put together the disastrous music festival on the Caribbean island. McFarland told the New York Times that he's looking to get into tech. He must pay full restitution to his victims. I worked. If I worked in finance, I think it would be harder to get back. Oh, he told the Times. Tech is more open and the way I failed is totally wrong. But in a certain sense, failure is okay in entrepreneurship. <laughs> McFarland ended, at the end of the day, I think I could probably create the most value by building some sort of tech product. Whether it's within a company or starting my own company, I'm open to both. I'll probably decide the next couple of weeks which path to go. The New Jersey native spent four years. Wow, he was in prison for four years. That flew by for me personally, which included two stints in solitary <laughs> for violating prison rules. Oh, my God. McFarland told the Times that he tried to smuggle a USB drive into prison. Uh-oh, where did he try to snuggle, smuggle it? Probably into his butt. In an effort to gather information for a possible memoir, he told the Times that he now lives in a small apartment in bed -Stuy. McFarland said his rent is covered by friends and family, though he won't say whether his parents are helping him out. Of course they are. McFarland told the Times that his parents are real estate developers, Stephen and Ireland, Irene McFarland couldn't grasp how someone they were so close to was capable of lying like I did. I hurt them, and it sucks. McFarland has said he had not apologized to his victims, asking the Times, what would you say to them if you were me? He also reportedly took umbrage at, at press coverage, comparing him to Ponzi schemer Bernie Madoff. Madoff died in prison at the age of 82 last year, was sentenced to 150 years behind bars for orchestrating the $17.5 billion Ponzi scheme. I bet he had a poster of him on his wall in prison. <laughs> he told the Times he never swindled people out of their life savings. It wasn't his intention for his plans to go awry. Yeah, he also uh, had this app or this um, social club. It was like for like young, um, like white collar kids, basically called Magnesis. I was actually a member of it. I knew him. He used to uh, work with one of my ex day job bosses I, th I might still have his phone number let's see if i have his phone number i could be like billy invite me to your next thing i don't have it i have his email though uh mcfarland enlisted celebrities and social media influencers like ja rule who helped plan the event kendall jenner god remember that that was hilarious bella hadid Haley Baldwin, Emily Ratajkowski to promote a luxury music festival on the Bahamian island of Exuma in 2017. God, those were the good old days. The pre-COVID fire festival days, the cheese sandwich. Fans paid 12000 per ticket only to discover the resort was instead a dilapidated collection of tents and mattresses that were turned inside out by a massive storm. But it makes for a great story, doesn't it? Attendees who have been promised lavish accommodations and luxury meals had cheese sandwiches in a box. And then they made uh, documentaries about it. I wish him the best. Good for you, Billy. Crush it. Get out of jail. The world is your oyster. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.
All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.